Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gaming with me, Tony Mo, and today we're taking a look at the System Shock Remaster demo. This is a project that just launched on Kickstarter yesterday from Night Dive Studios, the same folks that did the System Shock Enhanced Edition, basically an updated, uh, you know, modern creature comfort version of the original System Shock, making it run better on modern resolutions, dealing with some of the issues with the first person mouse controls, just making it a more enjoyable experience. But this is a really big deal. And obviously a lot of you out there will understand that because System Shock is sort of a legendary first person RPG shooter from the 90s. Uh, 1994 was the release of the original System Shock. I was four years old and I was one of those people who did not have the opportunity to experience System Shock when it released and frankly have never touched the game until just yesterday and I do plan now on sitting down playing through the enhanced edition and then heading my way through System Shock 2. I've been well aware of System Shock, well aware of its legendary status that it's had and its importance um, to the first person RPG genre much like Deus Ex. But for me going back and playing original games isn't always the most enjoyable experience. You know, I, I appreciate retro games, and there are certain games that are more playable for me than others. But sometimes you just boot up a classic, and you just know it's never going to have that same sort of impact on you that it had on the person who was able to play it back in 1994. That's kind of how I feel about System Shock. Like I said, I do want to play through the Enhanced Edition, play through the second game, just for the sake of... of Doing it for myself and experiencing these games in their original format, um, especially the first game now that Night Dive is doing this remaster. And I have no doubt in my mind that their Kickstarter is going to be successful. We'll talk about that towards the end of this video because it's already seeing great success. But this demo is available for everyone. It's on GOG, the Humble Bundle store, as well as on Steam. Go download it right now and check it out for yourself. And that's the first place that I wanted to start was with this demo. We won't even talk about you know what I experienced with the Enhanced Edition after I checked out the demo, but this demo as a whole. As someone who had never played the original game, how did I feel about this little chunk of a demo that we got from Night Dive? Well, I want more. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Um, I pretty much walked away from this and was like, supported, went to Kickstarter instantly. This just felt like something I wanted to play. And I think it shows how well System Shock has stood you know, it's, it's definitely stood up to the test of time in terms of its gameplay uh, design decisions and perspective. Obviously, this is an updated version. We've got full first-person controls, modern inventory management in this demo, and obviously the visual upgrade from the engine that existed in 1994 to what we're now seeing instead of the Unity engine in 2016. But all of that aside, like, this just felt like, felt like a modern game. Like, this is something I want to play. And for all of the right reasons, it reminded me of Bioshock. And I know that's funny because a lot of people will have played Bioshock, the original game when it released, and said, hmm, this reminded me of System Shock because there were obvious inspirations from the team that worked on Bioshock from System Shock. And a lot of the same people who worked on System Shock um, obviously worked on Bioshock. So the inspirations were very obvious for me, especially in this more updated version of the Kickstarter demo that Night Dive launched here. But I was seriously just instantly entranced in the world and, you know, the environment and the situation that my character was in. I was just like, this is... This is really good. Like, you know, this this feels like a really great game. Um, and it reminded me so much of my experience with Bioshock, you know, just I think because of the presentation and the fact that Bioshock is one of my all time great games. You know, when I when I think of games that I really have a place in my heart for Bioshock is like you know, it's right on the top of that list. You know, there's a whole bunch of them just all sitting at number one because I can't. I don't have the heart to put them in anything less than number one. Bioshock is right up there, and playing the System Shock demo reminded me so much of that experience, just because it felt so incredibly unique. I know System Shock is considered a cyberpunk RPG, but I think, like especially in the last five years, we've seen a lot of cookie-cutter cyberpunk experiences. You know, they may have been great games, but to me, they all feel like they're following this, you know, identical formula for what is cyberpunk. But when you look at System Shock, again, this modern rendition of this demo here, it just feels like its own unique take on what is cyberpunk, what is sci-fi. And I think that's a big part of what had me just instantly taken into it. And the overall atmosphere, the sound design, um, I think they're already doing a great job with that. Now, flashback to the original game, which I ended up playing shortly after I played the demo yesterday, and I was startled by the similarities. So much so that that keypad that you just saw me activate there, you know how it says 451, blood on the side of the wall? Well, if you play the Enhanced Edition, or the Original Edition, I should say the, the original game, the 1994 System Shock, it, I don't know where the keypad code is. It's not written on the side of the wall in blood, yet I was able to take my knowledge from the demo, 
use 451, and access the door in the original game. Kinda creepy conundrum right there. Obviously, they're going for faithful level design. I think that is very apparent, and when you play the first level, or for those of you who remember the original System Shock in the first level, you'll notice that this demo level here for this updated version is really damn similar. <laughs> um, you know, right down to enemy placement, you know, the puzzle locations, the overall layout, this is the original System Shock with a wonderful new coat of paint and a whole bunch of new design elements. So I am super excited about this project. As I said, as soon as I was done playing the demo, I played the demo again and then again, and I played it about five times through, uh, just really diving into all of the nooks and crannies, becoming really enamored with the world that they were building, and then uh, when I played the original game, and then shortly after that, went ahead and backed the game on Kickstarter. So really excited for this project. Night Dive is a studio that has dedicated themselves to resurrecting games like this, and I think that's a really big deal. Um, you know, for the obvious reasons. There's a bunch of people like myself and people even younger than me who potentially don't even know what System Shock is who would never have truly had the opportunity to experience System Shock. Now, you can go back and you can play the original game, but there's no real substitute for being there in 1994 and playing it and having those visuals be paramount for that period in time. If you play it now, or if you were born, you know, anytime recently and you go to play it in the next five years, the original game, you know, visually as impressive as it is, and I think, you know, it's still a good looking game, I think it still has wonderful audiovisual presentation, it's just not the same experience. And you can never copy that experience, but you can make a sort of replication of it. You can get something close, and that is what these remasters that Night Dive work on are all about. Um, and that's that's why I'm so excited for this remaster, you know, knowing that I am going to be able to have the closest possible thing to the experience that many of you got to have back in 1994. And that's really exciting to me, on top of the fact, obviously, that I'm actually enjoying the gameplay that has to be offered here. And I have to say, what I played of the Enhanced Edition, about two hours of it now, I'm actually pretty hooked on it. I'm really looking forward to playing through it and then heading into System Shock 2. So before we roll on out of here, let's talk a little bit about the Kickstarter. I did want to talk about some of the stuff going on with the project, just, you know, make you guys aware of, of what it is and, you know, their plans for it. That's obviously the important part of a Kickstarter, and if you decide to go ahead and support them, I uh, applaud you to please read as much as you can on their Kickstarter page. You know, Kickstarter is, without a doubt, a risk. You're looking to support a game. I am definitely confident in Night Dive to actually release a product, um, and they have a lot of great people on board. Um, one of the biggest ones for me is Chris Avalone. Chris Avalone, Fallout New Vegas, Wasteland 2, <laughs> Knights of the Old Republic 2, Planescape Torment, Fallout 2, you know, he's been around the block. He's worked on Kickstarter projects, very successful Kickstarter project. Wasteland 2 comes to mind, an amazing game. I love what they did with Wasteland 2. Really excited to support this game knowing that he's on board and there's obviously a whole bunch of talent at night dive studios people that have worked on fallout and skyrim and world of warcraft and uh you know a thief and like i said the system shock enhanced edition uh planet side you know bioshock these are people with serious chops in the AAA industry who want to see great classic games like this be brought back to life and one of my favorite things that they're doing is we see a lot of these remasters, right? And they copy like art assets. They try and just increase the poly count on them. They make them modern. They're going out, they're reinterpreting and reimagining all of these 3D models. So you're seeing that in the demo, you know, the uh, just, you know, the basic pipe, uh, you know, the stun pistol, the power stations, the eye cameras, you know, the different service points, the keypads, all of the stuff being reimagined and redesigned. That's a really big deal for me when it comes to remasters. And the Unity engine, I think, is a, becoming more and more of a powerhouse. This game looks beautiful. Um, you know, there's a lot of wonderful rendering technology in the modern version of the Unity engine. We've got PBR, screen-based reflections, uh, ambient occlusion, dynamic lighting. You know, like I said, really trying to bring the game back to life. So let's talk about their Kickstarter goals. Uh, right now, their, their pledge amount that they need to meet for the Kickstarter to be successful is 900,000. They're already at 417,000. I think that's went up an additional $3,000 since I started recording this. 29 days to go still. So I have no doubt in my mind that they're going to reach that goal. Um, I have actually backed them at one of the higher pledge levels. Really excited for this. They've got some pretty great stuff going on when you start getting into the uh, higher level pledge levels like the big box collector's edition they're doing. But at 900k, you're gonna get modern inventory management, modern controls, 
updated faithful levels, all of which we're seeing in the demo right here, but they're also going to be doing new puzzles and game difficulty modes. So one of the things that I was able to discover and was actually really impressed with when I played the enhanced edition of the original game is that they have four different difficulty mode settings categories. So you can change the core difficulty, the difficulty of the puzzles, the difficulty of the story or the depth of the story, and the difficulty of the cyber, which I don't actually know what that means. So yeah, I, I can't remember a game that allows you to customize that many different difficulty settings ever. So all the more reason that System Shock was well ahead of its time. Um, faithful levels, as I said, very obvious in the demo that they're, they're more than capable of that. Now, they do have one additional goal that is $1.7 million. They're going to be adding in at that point enemy limb dismemberment, more puzzles, ammo types and weapon settings, vending machines, basic components and research, RPG progression, weapon upgrading, and then the hardcore and Iron Man mode. I really genuinely hope they reach that stretch goal because all of that stuff sounds insanely awesome for an RPG. And I would very much like to experience System Shock with all of those goodies thrown into the mix. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the System Shock Remaster Project from Night Dive Studios. I will have a link to the Kickstarter down in the description below. Go ahead and check it out. Uh, you know, check out the video. Play the demo for yourself, please. This is a Kickstarter that actually launched with a demo. All the more reason that I am happy to support it and recommend that you go check it out. And if you're someone who appreciates um, games on Kickstarter and likes to support games at an early point in development, definitely consider giving it a go. Spread the word. And who I really want to hear from are those of you guys who are in the same position as me, who didn't really have the opportunity to play System Shock when it released back in 1994. Let me know if this is something you're looking forward to. If you've never even heard of System Shock, has this piqued your interest? And of course, those of you guys out there, the veterans who played System Shock at launch, what do you think about this remaster? Are you excited? Let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.